Hello and welcome to a special edition of Mystery, Murder, and Magic. Today we're going to be talking about a missing 24-year-old man, and he is a Columbia, South Carolina native. His name is Daniel Robinson, and he disappeared three months ago from Buckeye, Arizona. Three months ago, and we're really just starting to hear about this missing person. I mean, the seasons have changed since this young man disappeared, and just we're just now learning of this situation. And this isn't acceptable at all. Now, I've been reading that there is no local press coverage here in South Carolina about Daniel missing, and that's so heartbreaking. If it were your child, you would want everyone's news feeds, TV screens, and ears to be flooded with this information and you can bet I'm going to do my part as little as it might seem to get the world word out there now Daniel was last seen leaving his job site on June 23rd of this year he's a 24 year old geologist and on that day he was seen driving his 2017 Jeep Renegade from his um, work site in Buckeye Arizona he was reported missing later that same day and he hasn't been seen or heard from since now, some of his friends say that he didn't seem like himself in the days leading up to his disappearance, but they also added that he, they had no reason to believe that he wanted to harm himself. When he was last seen driving that Jeep, he was headed west, further into the desert. Now, authorities have been unable to locate his phone, or up until what I'm going to tell you in a moment, they had been um, unable to locate his phone because... It had either been turned off or it was out of range. And according to his phone records, he's made no calls or sent any texts since he went missing. Well, then a rancher discovered Daniel's wrecked Jeep on his property on July the 19th. That rancher is, or that ranch itself is located about four miles southwest of Daniel's job site. The Jeep was found with a lot of damage laying on its side in a ravine and Daniel's phone clothing wallet and keys were all found there at the scene and because of that authorities aren't suspecting foul play at the moment a search has had like many searches have been taking place but most of those have been because his father has organized them um now authorities have did a couple of searches and they've used search and rescue dogs and helicopters but they have seen no sign of daniel anywhere um other agencies have joined in with the police searching for him and they've used like cadaver dogs drones and a helicopter to search a 70 mile square area but there is still no sign of him on july the 31st a human skull was discovered south of the area that his jeep had been found but after forensic testing it was found not to be daniel's skull daniel's father david robinson hired an accident reconstructionist and private investigator to figure out just how Daniel's Jeep ended up in that ravine. And according to the person that Mr. Um, Robinson hired, the scene appeared to be staged, like it had been set up um, to look like it had wrecked or whatnot. Now, as of right now, and as for as long as he can, Mr. Robinson is staying in the Buckeye area, and I believe I would do the exact same thing as long as my resources would allow it because I can only imagine the heartbreak and like the emotions that he must be feeling. Now, Daniel is described as being 5 foot 8 inches tall with black hair and brown eyes and he doesn't have a right forearm or hand. There is a reward for information that leads to the location of Daniel. Now, if you have seen him or know any little thing that may help that investigation, you're asked to call 623-349-6400. Now, as the mother of a child who is not too much younger than Daniel, I'm begging you to please step up if you know anything. It may seem small or trivial, but it could be the information that investigators need to locate Daniel. You never know. Now, I'll be bringing you more information on this case as I get it. 
Y'all have a good weekend. And to Daniel's family, if you're listening, if there's anything y'all can do with this podcast to help get the word, please reach out to me. And that concludes adding any information that I may not have included in this episode. You can reach me on Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok.